And we're back! Now loading. Still loading. No, at least it does log as Sonic 06. <laughs> hey, wait, let's go back outside and... Yeah, we're gonna... Actually, uh, ma we do manage to appease one of the spirits in this part. Oh. Well, out of the four. Yeah. Alright, uh... Don't need to save. Anyway, what next? Uh, the doll again. He's around here somewhere. Or someone is. You know, or the doll's just talking on its own. From Red Door, Six Steps Horse, 13 Paces Rooster. If you recall that book we found. Yeah. Basically, it's saying, uh, walk six steps down, 13 steps west from a red door. A red door, eh? Yeah, the door to the custodian's closet. Ah. Providing that we can actually get there, but no, probably uh, at this no, point no, it's unlocked. No, 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 all we have to do is, uh, just go to the door and then, uh, we can just go that way. Yeah, but I mean, like, it being blocked off. It's not gonna be blocked off. Okay. <coughs> See? There it is. Yeah. So roughly six steps down. Or so. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've run around here and we hit pay dirt! What we get in here? Yep, pull it out. Great, right now the music suddenly stopped. <laughs> a small bag made of hemp and stayed liberty with blood. Why well, have a bad feeling about this? What's this? Ryo Yoshizawa, Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 3-5. No, I think we just found one of the kids. Are you crazy? I, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, considering that she found out that she's more or less anemic, I wouldn't blame her. I have a bad feeling about this. What's this? Uh. Well, if you're that curious, <laughs> say for yourself. Something tells me it's the tongue, ain't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> huh? Return it? Return it to the boy. This is how we appease them. Let me guess. Since one of them lost a tongue. Uh, actually, they all, actually, they all lost their tongues. Why do I have a feeling it's specific body parts, though? Well, then again, without their tongues, they can't speak that well. Well, there's that, but I have a feeling we're going to have to find the one girl's head. Actually, we don't. Oh, really? Yeah. How's that work? I don't know, but we'll have to, we'll have to work with what we got. Ugh. Yeah, give it back to the kid. Uh, uh, you out of your mind? Acquired Rio's tongue. Uh, uh, the, 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 I, the sooner we get rid of this item, the better. I, I'm glad that I'm not in medicine or in anything like that. Huh? Wait, what? Do you mean, wait, what? I'm glad I'm not in medicine. Oh. I'm glad. I'm just glad I got a strong stomach. Even though this game does frighten me at points, 
I'm able to stomach it very well, surprisingly. Uh. Well, here we go. If you do not have the tongue bag when you talk to Rio, wrong, yeah, yeah wrong end. Wrong end. I saw that kiddo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I to appease him. Uh-oh. Oh, another one. I think the... I think we just, uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I don't blame you there. So, what, what, did, what did he just happened? <laughs> I think we might have got a little closer to what we want to be at. Well, a little closer, but they still have to appease the other, the, uh, the other spirits. Anyway, there's one more thing we need to do before we check on Naomi. Check on Seiko again? No. Ah! Fuck! Don't worry, this doesn't need to the wrong end or anything. She vanishes anyway. <sighs> now, uh... This, what we're gonna grab right here is... More or less gonna be essential, actually. This is actually the third thing that unlocks an optional scene. Ah. Uh. An item right here. It's Seiko's cell phone. Also, by Nokia. <laughs> and she was in the middle of texting someone when she dropped the phone. The text entry window is still open, and he accidentally re read the whole thing. <laughs> this comes back in Chapter 5. Shinohara. Yeah, not now at any rate. But when the time is right. And now we have all that out of the way, now we can go check up on Naomi. And see if she's uh, recovered. Oh, she has by this point. It's just that now we unlocked an additional scene. Okay. One which I think is beneficial to character development. Well, you'll see what I mean when we get to that scene. So far, despite everything, it's just been the decisions in this chapter. Everything else has been relatively tame. And now, she has a dream about Seiko. Seiko. <sighs> she's dreaming that she's dying from something else. Ah, 
当に目の前が白くなってきた。なおみ、That's kind of a dumb question. Of course she would be. 楽しんでくれる楽しいよ知らないでよ私、死んだら、ここに置いて。手口探してよね絶対助かってよナオミ聖子死んだらもう私大丈夫ナオミには持ちだくんがいる私がいなくなっても彼ならナオミ支えられる何言ってんのよ<笑>じゃないのあ<笑> Even in this state, she still has her wits about her. この子のこんな顔、クラスの誰も見たことないだろうね。Of all the things to comment on, Seiko, that's so you. 私。もう覚悟できたよ。置いてって。先行ってね、ナオミ。ナオミ。分かったから。心配しないで。安心して。寒くなってきた。せいこ。<laughs> she just realized she's gonna die without her kissing anyone. But she's adamant about this. Then, who am I to refuse, right? This makes her break down. Sadly, it was all a dream. But yeah, if you did not have her cell phone, check up on Seiko and grab Seiko's cell phone. You don't get that dream sequence. But I figured it would have made sense to have it, you know? I have a feeling we're going to figure out what it means anyway. Satoshi, <laughs> Oh, she sounds like she's back to, well, half normal. Where the fuck normal means at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do with the bed. I don't know what to do with the bed. 
やはりさっき俺というか森重のいた校舎とここは違うようだなんとか別空間の校舎に移動する手を見つけないとそうね、hmm. And if you did not get the dream sequence なんで保健室に行くのはい。And here she brings it up. Nami, Daijou, go away. Seiko, no, you may meet it. Oh, oh, so go. Seiko, she could have done the yo. But does he? What got the who's good? I think that is more or less what the dream meant. あまり悪い方に考えるな。And with that, we continue on. Oh yeah, now we could go get that item that we've been kind of locked away from before too. Yeah. And I wonder what kind of item it is. Well, probably it's probably another key. Saying it's not a loose board this time. Yeah, this thief definitely has an air mystery, just like Chapter Three did. More so, though. Mata Hikari ga yo shite iru na. Naomi, kogo de matte te kure nai ka? Eh, wakata wa. Eh, cause she's used to this. That's. That's never a good sign either. Yeah. Aha! Naomi! Imada! So it's all the gray! She got it! Okay! Turn it down! And what we get? The custodian's key! Ah! That one goes at the custodian's closet! Umaku itana! Or. Yeah! I'm gonna shock it! He's it, Uncle! So that's why it seemed automatic. Hmm. Yeah, we need to keep moving. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> Yuya's not exactly um, Nissan material. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now let's find out what. Now we find out what's inside. I'm gonna say a body. Where? Again, do we really want to know where it's coming from? I'm sort of quite surprised. In even in a school that's on the supernatural plane, power would still work here. Well, then again, this is their rules. Yeah. Though, I think that there's something odd that Saoshi's actually taking this pretty well. Like in considering what he's seen so far. Deja vu. Huh? I wonder what that means. Ooh, it's torn, staying equal measure throughout its surface. Uh. Yeah. It'd be wise to not open it. Oh, the cassette deck is empty. 
but it's out of power. Great. It was on before. But of course, I guess it just ran out of power. Unfortunately. Oh, something appeared here. Strange but true. Stories get a cult. It's a follow up. Again, by Kokobiki. I wonder if we're going to find his corpse somewhere. Perhaps. Yoshikazu Yanagihori, the principal's son. Huh. You sure he was a pretty cool teacher back in the day? Yeah. Oh, 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 Unknown illness, eh? I wonder about that. Yeah, that same doll is with, with Ayumi and Yosuke. Yikes. 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 I hate to be that kind of person. Uh, kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. And he even described his, uh, his, uh... What? He even described his assault in, on paper. What the... the Sachiko Shinozaki? Shinozaki Sachiko-san. Wait a minute. Ayumi, Yeah. As the girl with a strikingly unusual red dress. So now the girl in the red dress has a name. Sachiko. And she was forced to watch those kids being killed. Hmm. ケイさんすれば既に成人して10年以上も経っているはずだ。現在の彼女からならば。But。犯行時のリアルな証拠。Yeah, <笑> Well, we appeased him. Shinozaki, you really were Well, you still managed to hold it together for the most part. Yeah, try and make sense out of chaos. But now you're going to be a good guy. Hear that, or went to go find some ice cream. You never know. No, he, he's been appeased. He's gonna leave them alone. Ugh. Again, gotta be so blunt about it. Ah! I saw that coming! <laughs> On you too? I gotta say, despite all the crap he gets put through in terms of, due to Ayumi, I'm surprised he's managed, he manages to tolerate her. Anyway. She's not normally like this, but... Mm. Yeah. But, uh, anyway. See you guys in the next part, where uh, we actually do manage to accomplish some more things, such as appeasing the other two spirits. Wow, that's quick. <laughs>